This video is so confusing. Basically, this girl posted a video on TikTok complaining about a certain guy. Now, the story goes that she was dating this guy and she rejected him through text message. And now she's mad that he didn't keep chasing her after she said no. I am very confused. Take a look. I recently was going on dates with a man and nice guy, good guy, treated me well. But once I realized that he was not my husband because... I'm only looking for husband energy at the moment. I ended things with him and I sent him a text. It's like, it wasn't that serious. You know, I didn't feel like I needed to like, do it in person. Anyway, so I sent him a text, told him that I didn't see it going any further. And he agreed. He said that he didn't think that he could make me happy. And while I appreciate that, it was a very kind response. He didn't even try. He didn't even try and say that he like wanted to change, that he wanted to like, pr whatever, like, I can be manipulated. I will listen to you. <laughs> But you didn't even try. Okay, first question that everybody's asking is what the hell is husband energy, lol? Okay, so she went in looking for husband energy. So what does that mean, right? Basically, I assume that it's like non-F boy status, right? It's like being genuinely caring, kind, loving, provider type, maybe has a, a good income or good potential to become a future a father, you know, good with children, something like that. And controversial opinion here, but it kind of baffles me that people look for anything other than husband energy because I thought that's kind of like what the default you're supposed to go for but you know to each their own I, I don't judge I just judge every single day okay so the obvious part that pissed everybody off is the fact that you rejected him and now you're mad that he didn't chase you the fact of the matter is we live in a s word incoming society okay where no means no right so if a woman says no and a guy keeps pursuing isn't that like creepy, that's like not okay, right? Because at that point, that is borderline harassment because she has made her boundaries clear to you. She has made her stance clear to you. And you, as a man, decided to not respect her and go after her anyways, which is a scummy thing to do. Unless, of course, you're like this woman where no doesn't mean no, no means try harder, and it actually means yes, and I'm looking for a husband. How is anybody supposed to understand the ancient hieroglyphics that is your brain and your emotions? Guys are not mind readers. How are they supposed to understand that when you say no, you actually want them to chase you? In my opinion, any self-respecting man, right, after a woman says no, will probably stop pursuing because if she says no, and you keep saying, oh, please, I'll do anything for you. I'll, I'll change my character. You know, I'll be any kind of guy you want, girl. You know, that, that's humiliating. That's pathetic. Dare I say that is simpery, which must be guillotined immediately. As you know, on this channel, we do not tolerate any form of simpery. Kristen here has got it spot on. I don't see value in you, but chase me and waste our time. Yikes. Listen, that girl is a straight up red flag, okay? If you're an actual full grown adult woman and you play games like this, I'm sorry, you're gonna end up one of those crazy old cat ladies. Because just be goddamn straight up, okay? How annoying is this? That people are not mind readers. Now, probably the worst statement she said in the entire thing was, I'm open to being manipulated. This is literally every woman. They want you to try. Okay, first off, how is he supposed to know that you're a psychopath woman willing to be manipulated by random men, okay? That's just like degenerate behavior. I don't know how you think anyone is supposed to understand that. Second off, it is not every woman, okay? We need to stop generalizing in all of these goddamn situations. Otherwise, all the men would be running off to jump off this flat earth. I think. I don't think any sane woman has sat there going, I'm open to being manipulated. Please toy with my emotions and, and, and crush my heart. I don't know. In my opinion, this woman actually has no idea what she wants because she claims she wants husband energy, right? But she also simultaneously wants her husband to have zero self-respect because pursuing a woman who rejected you is... Isn't that like straight up like nice guy type of behavior because you're gonna try to convince her into liking you when she explicitly said she doesn't. So you're gonna try to do certain things to manipulate her, which is definitely sort of nice guy behavior. Now, I would be lying if I told you that I knew nobody liked this because I do know a couple people exactly like this, okay? And uh, they're pretty normal on the surface, but they definitely fall into this category of read my mind and can do everything for me. Now, this person says this is just like the male female dynamic, right? This is the nature of the game, though. If you want it, you have to take it. That's right. If you're a man and you want to you want a partner, you better play this manipulation game where if she says no, continually pursue her 
to the point where either one, she's one of those psychopathic women who will actually like it, or two, she calls the cops on you because you're literally harassing this woman after she said no. Risking that level of, I don't know, going to jail or being labeled as a creep is not worth it for a guy. You gotta understand this from like the male perspective. Like people are not gonna do this. So if you want somebody, just say yes. I don't know, be straight up. I don't know why that's something that actually needs to be taught that uh, the chase is just some fictional bullshit. Let me just drop some quick truth bombs on you over here. Nobody, I mean, nobody wants to play this game, okay? It is absolutely annoying and frustrating for everybody. I feel like you don't want a husband, you just want attention, okay? And I'm starting to relate to that Charlie Poots song right now. Uh, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. And correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there an entire goddamn movement behind uh, men like overstepping their boundaries, right? And if you really want men to keep pursuing women after they say no, that's gonna lead to some serious crimes, I'm just gonna say. Just saying a bunch of people are gonna get the wrong message and not all males are sane and reasonable people, just like not all females are sane and reasonable people. Jason here, reading a little too much into the situation, he can't make her happy is man speak for, she's too high maintenance physically, emotionally, or financially for him, maybe all three. Maybe true, I mean, emotionally 100%. Don't know what the hell is wrong with this woman's emotions, for sure. Average TikTok user, probably the most true statement in this entire video. Okay, so here we have somebody explaining the situation from both parties, okay, male and female perspective. Gen Z speak is so hard to understand sometimes, so let me translate. She wants a husband. She's dating with an end goal in mind and isn't interested in wasting her time. That's fine. She was dating a guy and saw it wasn't going anywhere, so she kindly let him go. She's cool with letting him go and appreciates his honesty, but at the same time, she's frustrated by the lack of effort on his part, either in the relationship or towards the end. She's a 21st century woman with a 20th century mindset. She wants to be pursued. She wants a man who thinks she's worth the chase and has the motivation to move his feet? She said no. What, what does this have to do with uh, chasing somebody? When, when like. If she gives like hints or something like, hey, may, I may or may not be interested and you know, she doesn't explicitly say something, then it's a chase. When you explicitly say no, that is not no longer a chase. That is a declaration that I want nothing to do with you, okay? Am I goddamn crazy over here? She wants a man who wants what she wants, which is to be married. She's not asking for too much, but in this current dating culture, she's asking for a lot. No, she is asking for a lot because she's, she wants somebody to read her mind and understand that no means yes. The standard she set is the bare minimum. No, but she's struggling to find a man who can meet it. She's disappointed. She had hope, but now she has to start over. Uh, maybe her issue is that men aren't willing to settle down with her or whatever, but come on, you got some issues as well. Clearly some serious damn emotional issues, which you need to sort out before you start looking for a husband. You are absolutely not ready for a husband because you want some pathetic groveling man to sit at your feet and lick your toes, okay? That is absolutely not gonna happen with any self-respecting non-simping man okay just saying go check out the second channel we're posting all the time it's awesome goodbye bye bye bye